It's face-off time once again as we look ahead to the big match on Saturday. The evening kickoff as Liverpool take on Arsenal. These two sides have the only 100% records in the Premier League so far this season, so something has to give. We have Chris that will be backing Arsenal for this one. We have Tom McGarry that will be going for Liverpool. So let's start then with round one, which is who will win this game? We mentioned both of these sides have 100% records. We will start then with Arsenal for this one. The Gunners have made a pretty good start to the season. Yeah, pretty good start. They're looking pretty strong. Beat Burnley last week and Newcastle on the opening weekend. And without too much bother, really, they're trying to amalgamate their new players into the team. They gave uh, um, David Luiz his first start last week and he looked like he improved the defence. Experienced defender at the back now, which Arsenal have been missing. Nicolas Pepe showed up in uh, fits and starts in that game when he came off the bench. But the real hero was Danny Ceballos, joined from Real Madrid on loan. He got two assists in that game. He's the kind of box-to-box -box midfielder Arsenal have been craving and he could give Liverpool real problems throw into the mix the facts that Aubameyang has hit the ground running for Arsenal I think they've got a real chance of ending this Anfield hoodoo they've got yeah 11-2 to two they are to pick up the victory then uh, that was a compelling argument from Chris uh, you've got to back Liverpool to win now they are 8-15 to 15 on yeah I think it's easy to back Liverpool in fairness I think across the board they're a slightly improved version of Arsenal aren't they they're better defensively even without Alisson their goalkeeper available and I'd still argue their front three of Mo Salah Roberto Firmino and Sadio Mane are better better than Arsenal's attackers on the whole and as a collective. So for me, Liverpool's imperious record as well against Arsenal of late. The last two fixtures at Anfield between these two sides have ended in spectacular 4-0 and 5-1 wins. I'm not sure if it'll quite be a victory by that magnitude this time around, but Liverpool have got to start as the red-hot favourites. They've won every Premier League game out of their last 11, a run that dates back to the beginning of March. So for me, they're the form side over an extended period, and this is going to be a very difficult evening for Arsenal. It's hard to back against that, to be quite honest there. So the round has to go to Liverpool for that one there. Compelling argument from Tom. So a 1-0 to Liverpool. Let's move on to the second round then, which is the first goal scorer. I mentioned both of these sides have a lot of goals in their teams. We'll start with you again, Chris, then. Who are you backing to open the scoring? Well, Bamiang would be the obvious choice, wasn't he? He's got uh, two goals in two games now and has certainly looked pretty sharp up front. But his record against the big six is not brilliant, if I'm being honest. And instead, I'm looking at Alexander Lacazette, a player who normally seems to perform in these kind of matches. He's got a much better record against the big six teams. Seems to show up well in these kind of matches and obviously he's a bigger price as well. He only returned from injury last weekend against uh, against Burnley at home. Looked pretty sharp. He and Aubameyang swapped between who was playing out wide, who was playing in the middle. So uh, Lacazette, 13 to 5 to score any time in this fixture. Seems like a good price for a player who performs against the big teams. Yeah, indeed. Um, Salah, Mane, Firmino or someone else that could score? Well, it's hard to look beyond the front three for Liverpool, isn't it? And I think the value bet would be with Roberto Firmino to score any time. He scored a hat-trick in the reverse fixture last season, that 5-1 victory I mentioned earlier on. He's usually the foil, isn't he, for... Uh, Salah and Mane, but he scored against Southampton last week, so that'll boost his confidence, get his goal-scoring record up and running for the season. So I'd be backing him to score out the value bet of those more obvious candidates. But what about Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain to score against his former club? We see it happen also often in the Premier League. He's available, excuse me, at 9-2. to two. So we're backing him as an outside tip, perhaps, to, to score any time. Again, compelling arguments from both of you. I'm probably just going to side with Arsenal on this one, though. With Lacazette, I think he is a player that is in form. He's also recently said that the Premier League is yet to see his best. So I think Lacazette could be a good season for him. So I'll give this one to Arsenal then at 1-1. Let's move on then to round three, the final round then, and it's the combined goals in the match. Uh, once again, we'll start with you, Chris, with Arsenal. Yeah, and it's very easy to pick out it being a high-scoring match because history suggests that these two sides put on high-scoring affairs. Forget about defensive work, particularly with Liverpool missing Alisson in goal. I think that's a big miss for them. We saw Adrian make some good saves against Southampton, but look a little bit shaky, and therefore... It stands to reason I think we'll get another high-scoring affair. Over three and a half goals has landed in eight of the last ten meetings between the two sides. And in the last six games at Anfield, 
and I'm going to go for over three and a half goals in total for this game, which is 11 to 10. Yeah, very good. That's it. Arsenal then over to Liverpool. Yeah, I'm even more adventurous actually than Chris. I fancy over four and a half goals in this fixture. As Chris alluded to, historically, there's been so many goals in this game. The four all between the two sides at Anfield 10 years ago when Andre Arshavin uh, scored all four goals for Arsenal. Robbie Fowler's got a couple of hat-tricks for Liverpool in the past as well. So there's a record for both teams scoring on a regular basis in this game. 5-1 last season, six goals in that game. I think it's going to be really entertaining. Definitely these are two sides where their attack is better than the defence. So certainly if you look at Liverpool without Alisson at the moment, that is the case. So for me, over four and a half goals, it's 27 to 10. I'd be tempted by that. Both tempting. Both very, very tempting. I'd probably just side with Arsenal, though, with Chris on this one. I think it's the over 3.5, I think, could potentially happen. It just gives you a little bit more leeway than going for the over 4.5. So uh, Chris wins this one. So 2-1 to Arsenal. Well, those are our views then on this uh, big Premier League fixture. Let us know yours on social media, Facebook and Twitter. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube.